Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about two very important concepts. One is the concept of a limit of a sequence, and the other is Cauchy sequence. These concepts are going to show up repeatedly uh, in higher level math if you're studying anything like real analysis, functional anal analysis, measure theory, and so on. So let's get right to it. And instead of actually going ahead and writing it like a big definition, I'm actually going to show up make more meaning of it and just draw it out for you in this video. And I recommend that uh, once you understand it, you actually go and also read the definitions either on Wikipedia or in a textbook. So let's uh, start. So let's start with the limits of a sequence. So a sequence uh, is a set of numbers like x1, x2, x3, dot 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 all the way to xn and we talk about converging to a point or having a limit x so let's say that we have a point and x is the limit of this sequence so what do we mean by this what we mean is that there is some epsilon so which is the radius of a circle around this point x and as you get further and further into the sequence there's some, uh, this epsilon keeps decreasing and eventually convert, uh, becomes very small right around in this neighborhood of x. So what I mean is if x1, if the epsilon for x1 is, you know, this big circle, here, then epsilon for x2 might be a smaller circle around this. And for x3, it will be smaller and for x4 it will be smaller until you eventually just get to the point x. So that's what's meant by limit of a sequence. Next let's talk about what is meant by a Cauchy sequence. So a Cauchy sequence is again a sequence x1, x2, x all the way to xn. And we say that it's a Cauchy sequence if for every positive epsilon greater than zero we have a neighborhood. Remember, we talked about neighborhood here. So this, everything, all the points inside the circle are the neighborhood for that given epsilon. So we have a neighborhood on that epsilon such that the distance between xn prime and xn double prime is less than epsilon. So what we mean to say here is that each time the di uh, distances keep getting less. Now notice this is actually very different saying it is just converging to x. Here. So instead what this really means is that each time if, if you're moving along these lines basically keep getting closer and closer together if this was your epsilon here. And if the sequence is such that it's getting closer and closer and closer each time through, that is what's meant by a Cauchy sequence. Note that in this limit of a sequence, this may not be the case. It's just that the circles here keep getting smaller, but it doesn't mean that the epsilon each time has to get smaller by more than the previous time. And yes, some sequences will be, uh, you know, you can have a Cauchy sequence here, if, but it's not a necessity. And some important property of Cauchy sequences, uh, which you'll read about later sometime, are that Cauchy sequences are bounded. So what we mean by bounded here is because each time they're getting closer and closer, as you see, it means that there's some line here which you can bound this by because since they're getting closer it will never ever reach this line and that's why this line is an upper bound on this Cauchy sequence here that I've drawn and any Cauchy sequence is convergent so as so this is the other property of a Cauchy sequence
and you can see that if we keep getting closer and closer each time around, we're eventually going to converge somewhere. Now, being convergent doesn't mean that this point need to exist in the set in which this Cauchy sequence exists, just so we're clear. So this was a tutorial on the limit of a sequence and what is Cauchy sequence by Aditya Mittal from acmetutor.com. I hope you enjoyed. video and it's very clear to you now what is the limit of a sequence versus a Cauchy sequence. Thank you.